Hey there, wonderful viewers! Welcome back to our EQS tutorial series. In this episode, we will continue with the EQS generators explanation. We have a few more generators to explain. First one is points circle generator. The point circle generator will generate points around context in circular shape. So let's see the properties. Circle radius is the max radius of circle that will expand from context. This generator can work in two modes, by space between or number of points. The space between is the distance between items generated on the outer edge of the circle, as you can see in this example. If we choose the number of points, we will have that exact number of points generated and space between will be calculated by engine. By default, this generator generates items around the context in 360 degrees. But you can modify the arc angle value for your needs and when you change that value, for example to 90 degrees, after that modification for arc direction property is now available. Direction in the EQS system works in two modes. Rotation mode will use rotation of context that is assigned below. And if we use carrier as context, you can see that items are generated in the angle we set and if we rotate our carrier, items are generated in front of the carrier. Second mode is two points mode and direction will be between these two contexts. For example, direction will be from carrier to context we created in the video where contexts are explained. That context returns all heal items from the scene. In this scene, I have one heal item and as you can see, Points are always generated towards that heal item. Trace data property. So when this generator generates an item, it does tracing from circle center. If you set mode to none, it will not trace and all items will be generated from center in the radius that is provided. If trace mode is navigation, points will be generated on max radius distance or where navigation is broken first. Geometry by channel or profile works that points will be generated on places where trays hit some geometry. Navigation over ledges mode combines navigation and geometry trace. It will still trace like navigation mode, but after navigation ledge, it will do trace mode like geometry, and as you can see, points are generated where trays hit this wall. Ignore any context actors when generating circle. This checkbox will ignore circle center context when tracing from center of circle. This only works in navigation over ledges and geometry by channel or profile trace mode. If unchecked, some of the traces may hit your context and be generated on that hit. Other properties are explained in the previous episode, so let's continue with the point cone generator. This generator will generate points in the shape of a cone. Range property is distance to generate the cone from the context. This is 1000 units. Cone degrees are maximum degrees of generated cones. On this generator, it is 90 degrees. Aligned point distance is distance between each point on the same angle. As you can see, the distance is 100 units. Angle step is the step of angle increase. Angle is 10 degrees. Center actor is any context we want points to be generated around. Include context location will just add one more point on context location. Other properties are explained in previous video. Points donut generator. This generator creates points in donut shape, which is formed with user specified number of rings that are generated between inner and outer radius from the context center. On every ring will be the number of points that are specified here. Use spiral pattern checkbox will generate points in spiral pattern, but increase the number of rings to notice the difference. Arc direction and arc angle works the same as point circle generator, and other options are explained in previous videos. Composite generator. If you want to include more than one generator, use a composite node. On the generator property you can add multiple generators, for example grid and a circle generators. And these generators have all properties if you use them in a single generator mode. But be careful with composite. 
I recommend using the same type of items, for example, multiple generators that provide just actors or just points. For me, combining actors and points causes engine crashes and wrong item locations. You can try, but be careful. Last thing for this tutorial is to cover custom generators. As you can predict, you can create your own custom generator. To do that, right click and choose Blueprint class, then find Environment Query Generator Blueprint Base. Inside your custom generator, you can override two functions. Do Item Generation. This function will provide context locations that are passed from Environmental Query. That is the context from the right side. If your context is carrier, context location will have just one location, and that is the location of that carrier. If your context is all heal items from the scene, then context location will have all locations of those heal items. Below context is generate item type option, so you need to pick what type of items you want to generate. Actors, points and direction. If we pick actors, we will use the Add Generated Actor node. So for example, this generator will return all heal items in the scene. In the environment query, our custom generator will appear. We just need to check that generated item option is the same like in the generator. This option should not be visible, but in this version, this is a bug, and engine developers will fix this in the future. Just make sure it is the same as in generator. And as you can see, we get points on all heal items. Also, we can make this generator in points mode instead of actors. First, change the generated item type to point and use the add generated vector. But now get the location of heal item actor. And again, in the environment query, make sure that the generated item type is the same as in generator. And again, we get points on all heal items in point mode. One more thing to cover is do item generation from actors. This works the same as do item generation, only difference is that you get actor reference in context actors array. What is worth mentioning is that in this custom generator you can add your variables, and they will also appear in environment query, so you can modify your generation. And that's it for this video. Today we covered all generators that were not covered in the previous video. In future videos we will talk more about custom generators, when we get to real applications. Thanks for tuning in today. If you found this helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more EQS insights. Your support means much to me and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Happy coding and until then, take care.